I did so good last week, you wanted me back, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Could you believe us if we told you we asked you every week? I <laughs> know. Well, it's, it's true. Oh, okay. That's yeah. surprising. I want to see what you got to say. Why is that? We think you're an interesting guy. Big piece I, of the defense. I appreciate that. Um, Austin Eckler, what do you think when you see him on stage? Very dynamic. He can do it all. Uh, he can run the ball between the tackles. He can get outside. Um, really good in the passing game. Um, <laughs> like I said, he'll he'll pass block. He'll do it all. Um, very smart. Um, knows how to read blocks when he makes cuts and knows how to set blocks up. Just a really over overall really good player. Is it hard to get solid shots on a guy that's so compact and he runs? Just kind of think of it an elusive target. You just try to get them on the ground. Yeah. I mean, it takes everybody to um, get a player like that on the ground uh, who's elusive, like you just said. Um, it takes everybody. Do you, uh, do you believe in momentum at all? Do you? Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you? Uh, it depends. Um, yeah. There was um, a great deal of not satisfaction because that would mean there was, there was happiness after the game on, on Sunday and a feeling like maybe you guys had turned the page from a bunch of different guys talking to them. You know, like, hey, we needed that. That felt great. I'm wondering, in that case, is this a momentum that you believe in? Um, I think it's more of... You know, it's always good to win in the NFL. Um, to win like that against anybody is like a big deal. Um, but more importantly, to be able to carry that week of success and practice and, you know, replicate it. And then we're going to be playing a better opponent coming off another bye week. So to, you know, take it up a notch, that's you know, if you can take the momentum from that and take it up a notch, I think um, you you could have success. Um, but we're playing a whole different opponent. The Chargers are really good offensively, defensively, um, and we we have to um, do a really good job of um, coming together as a group and um, having some success last week, even though it won't necessarily matter, but to be able to incorporate that week of preparation that Bill had us to be able to take it up a notch, you know, to um, offensive, defensively, and special teams to then hopefully carry over in this week and then see the progression. Do you feel like at least during what you've seen so far in practice that guys are? I hope so, yeah. That's it. That's the goal. How challenging was it to pull off what you were asked to do last week uh, when Devin went out? And uh, Gerard, I was talking to him this week. Man, what do you think? I think it's probably pretty challenging. I got to be honest with you, though. Like, I've never really led a defense or <laughs> 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 no, no, I say it more so like you've seen me do it before. Like, there's, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know why. Yeah. Um, I mean, I did it. I've done it for this organization. I've done it for another. I've done it back here again. So, like, to me, I think that just shows the level IQ I have. And I'm, you know, them putting me in that position and, you know, trying to do the best of my ability to, you know, help out. That's that's what it's all about. Seems like, like uh, dirty work, unsung work. Like, it doesn't, you know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. show up on the stat sheet. That's all right. Yeah. You're good. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Do you see any um, difference in Jamie coming back? I mean, times change, people change. He wasn't here for two years, you know, from the player you knew in 2019 to the one you've been playing with again the last couple of weeks. It's been that long. 19, yeah, it's 21, right? That's crazy. Um, I mean, not, he's still the same. Well, he's still a really good player. I don't want to make it seem like he's not a good player. He's still a really good player and can play at a high clip. 
Yeah, because he's a little bit more open with us. So I don't. Even oh, yes. What's yeah, he been it's, saying? It's, no, he's well. He's been talking. Like, that's, 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 that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was a big that's man. That's funny. He was a ghost. You know, back in, back in 19. So that's I, funny. Just you know, I don't know if that was a reflection of anything you saw inside the locker room <clears> or meetings or on the field. Yeah, I think he wants to drop his knowledge that he's learned in this game and help out as uh, much as he can. You know, I mean, it was always like that with us. So I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> a non, non-football question. The, uh, the Elite Eats yeah. YouTube series, how did that come about? And it's like food or food commentary or it's always sort of been a hobby or I like that question. Um, I'm a big foodie. Um, I think everybody knows that, that knows me in this room knows that because um, I ask people, you know, what's, what are the nice spots or what are good uh, hole-in-the-wall spots. But it came about because I'm a foodie and two, I felt like um, chefs and mom-pa shop owners are kind of like football players where someone could write a bad review, someone can say whatever they want, even though, you know, the person may have had a bad day and they can't really say anything back, you know? Kind of like football players. We don't, people can say stuff all the time at us. We don't really get to say anything back, right? Or, you know, it happens every once in a while, but the majority of it, no one really says anything. So I just wanted to create a platform to have uh, those workers to and people that own businesses to be able to express themselves, whether it may be good, you know, middle fingers to the haters or, you know, encourage their supporters like they appreciate. And especially during a time like we had during COVID, it's awesome to have all these um, mom, pa shops, uh, restaurants that um, that I support, you know, feel very lucky to have a platform to be able to showcase their talents and their skills for people to come have food. And um, for me, I just wanted to give back. And, and too, the last thing is to have people understand, you know, I'm not interviewing, like I am, but I'm not, I'm, I'm doing it. We're just having lunch and I'm getting fans to be able to see what players are without their helmet on. And that's not all the ways the case. And I feel like some players get to open up. I mean, last year we had, I had, or two years ago, excuse me, in 19, I had Steph on and he never talks. And everybody was like, well, you got him to talk, <laughs> you know? And for me, you know, we're close. So he felt comfortable. And this year, you know, I've had Janu and Hunter and Kendrick so far. Um, and th they've done great and it's been awesome for the feedback of fans to be like, oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that about this person. So it's kind of an all-encompassing and, you know, hopefully, and it, you know, um, the Food Network one day will pick it up. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe it'll go somewhere. I'm, I'm not, I just do it for fun, kind of just show some love. Were you uh, kind of taken aback by Matthew Judon's rejection of macaroni and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was. Couldn't believe that because – you know, I, I, I enjoy it and my son loves it and it's kind of funny hearing him not like it while his son is like mac and cheese. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. You saw Justin Herbert last year. Um, you know, obviously you guys had, had a victory against him. How much has he grown just in the, in the one year that, you know, just so quickly for, for a guy like him? Yeah, that's a really good question. I mean, co more confidence, seeing more coverages, I mean, just more reps. You can see him. He's really good in the pocket. He's really good outside of the pocket. He is an extremely talented quarterback. And we can't forget about his legs, too. The ability to, if he gets in a tight situation, to be able to take off for a first down is huge. Um, and just his progressions of his reads are really at a, at a high clip and um, he's just all around gotten so much better, and you can just tell he's just more comfortable doing his job, and that helps. The game is slowed down. All right. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.